So we're back. Uh, last, certainly not least, is Harry Poulton's barn. A little bit of rain here on the way down, on the way home. I hope it's not raining in Georgia. Oh my God. Better check. Harry Poulton's barn will start with Casanova's Jewel. Casanova's Jewel raced really well. In, or raced really well. Raced really well as a two year old when he made that break and won that race. Uh, we brought him back and he fell down in an accident. And now he's back going. Uh, we turned him out for a little while, let him grow up. Of course, it's at two different ends of the spectrum. Screaming Hawk is still getting a little bit of Wow. Screaming Hawk is still getting uh, big. He hasn't stopped growing yet. He has not filled out or matured yet. Um, we'll qualify him. He has entered in the sale, but we'll see if he goes. Uh, that'll be up to him in the next two weeks. Casanova's Jewel is not ready to go, and he does look like he's filled out quite a bit and matured. Looks really, really good from what I can see. Capistrano undefeated, the last and only last undefeated horse in our barn. She, uh, she'll race in a couple of weeks. She stays undefeated over the next month. She's going to be a real good filly. She's got either the golds or that big, uh, oh my. She's got either the golds or that big stake race uh, coming up in Toronto. Uh, grassroots, I don't want to go to Hanover with her. We'll skip Hanover. Probably look at the gold on the 14th. Race her next week, probably sometime, somewhere. That's what we'll do with uh, Capistrano. Just a tad is back going, uh, back going now. I got a little bit here. Capist, uh, just a tad is back going. We're gonna get him in the go this week. A little bit sick last week at fourth downs. Probably his worst flat line ever was the other day. So we'll see if we can get him back under control. Screaming Hawk again. We talked about him. Still got a lot of growing to do this colt, a lot of work to do, but we'll see if we can get him under control and qualified in the next week or two. Sunshine's finest. Uh, Got to go to the vet and get that x-ray done. I know we we're putting that off. I left in the vet's hand, both Chris and Natalie, and said, you know, just coordinate and get this guy x-rayed if you don't mind, please. Uh, find out where we're at with him. Sunshine in. She's in to go Tuesday at Georgian Downs. Good class, I think. Uh, 15 claimer and onwards of 30. We'll see how she looks and feels. Trafalgar, she's up swimming. She's going to be back at Harry's Barn in three weeks and regain her training to see where we're at with her. Utopian, I believe, has entered Wednesday at Grand River. Also entered in the sale. Uh, we'll see what happens with Utopian, by all accounts. Nice little colt, but is he going to be what we need him to be? Maybe not. Uh, War We Ultra, I'm on, our way to, on my way to drive her tonight. She's in race one, post eight. Tough spot for her to be in, but at the same time, uh, raced great last week, taking a lifetime mark, 158-1. White Tiger, Harry has White Tiger back. He's racing Tuesday at Georgian Downs. I'm expecting big, big things from White Tiger. Maybe not this Tuesday, but in the near future. He schooled good, seemed good. I trained him the other day. I was happy with what I saw. We'll see how he looks on Tuesday. And then Gold Watch, he's down at the bottom. We're gonna put him up where he belongs soon. Gold Watch is back training, jogging now with Harry. He won't begin training until September sometime. Anyway, that's all of Harry's burn. That's all the burns. That's them all. What's that? That's what I did last week. Heavenly Skies. So I will, uh, actually I'll be back in a minute. I want to talk to you about Heavenly Skies with Blair Burgess. I don't know why I didn't put him on these lists. Obviously the Philly belongs there. I'll be back in just a second with Heavenly Skies.